We're going to go back to, out to one of our live cameras right now where a council member has uh, shown up uh, there representing that district. Who do we have there? Christina Mendez. Hey Vic, so as Kelsey mentioned, Odette Ramos came on the scene and we did see her, so we wanted to pull her aside and, and just talk with her about um, kind of your feeling as you're learning at least what we know of um, as this not being an active shooter um, situation anymore on campus. When you first learned about what was going on though, um, what was your initial reaction? Oh, obviously, I was uh, horrified for the campus and for the students. I know that it's extremely scary, and so um, could understand that they're obviously traumatized and um, need to have uh, that support. Um, but also, not having information is tough as well. Uh, but I also know that we want to make sure that we're giving you good information. So you know, we're waiting on that. But um, yeah, it's a, it's been a it's a sad um, sad evening, especially since. Since um, Morgan has homecoming coming up, and uh, that is usually a big celebration of how wonderful the campus is, uh, and it still is. Um, there's a lot of progress being made. Uh, it's. I, I'm also. Uh, I was relieved to realize that the people who were injured are going to be okay. Um, that uh, obviously they're still traumatized and they're still going through a lot, um, so they're going to need our support as well. Uh, but um, yeah. Yeah, obviously a very, very disturbing situation. As far as the press conference goes, you came here um, to show support, I'm assuming, to families and students. Do you have any idea of when that will happen tonight? Um, I don't. Um, I don't know that. Obviously, uh, the BPD is and the mayor's office are working on trying to make sure that they're giving us accurate information. Everything was moving so quickly. There was a lot of different information floating around uh, and trying to get to really the, the bottom of it. And then obviously we're seeing, you know, students and others wanting to get back in to get their stuff. Um, so, you know, everything is, everybody's kind of waiting on, on what's happening. Um, but yes, I'm, I'm here to show my support to the students. Um, I represent the other side of Oregon, Argonne Drive, but obviously, you know, Morgan is a very important part of our city. Um, many of my uh, residents in the area are concerned, so uh, working with them on, you know, what the information is as well. Um, you know, when this is a shelter in place order here in Morgan, do they need a shelter in place? And we just wanted everybody to kind of avoid the area and let the police do their job. Um, so I'm very hopeful that we'll get some more information. I hope that the uh, people who are hurt are, are going to be okay. Um, we know that they are going to be, but it's going to take a, a lot of time to recover. Um, and I, you know, offer my support to the Morgan campus. You know, whatever we need, whatever they need, you know, we'll be certainly happy to help them. Odette Ramos there with Baltimore City Council. Thank you so much for helping us out sure. with that information tonight. Uh, back in the studio, I'll toss it to you. Um, and we, of course, once this press conference gets going, we will break back in live.